So you are going to do a construction, and you need to follow these instructions in the order I prescribe, and do it carefully and neatly. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a large circle. To fill the page. Okay. Yep, you can fill the page. Having drawn your circle, the next thing you need to do is clearly mark the centre of your circle. Oh, I've done that one. Oh, I can't find it. Yeah. Well, you should have you should have a spike mark in the middle of your paper. Next thing you need to do is you are going to draw a triangle with the three corners on the circle, but the centre of the circle must be inside the triangle. So I'm going to write here. Draw triangle containing the centre. So I might have here, here, and here. So those would be my three points. And I'm going to join them up with nice lines. So that angle is containing the centre. Notice. It is a scalene triangle. A scalene triangle, so the sides are not the same. Mm -hmm. Having made your triangle, which contains the centre, you need to join each of these three corners to the centre. So, that, that, and that. And those are three radii. So you can write on each of those R, R, and R. Quite big. If you look at these three triangles that you've created, you should be able to tell me something about each of those three triangles. What sort of triangles are they? Julia? Isosceles. Isosceles, well done. They're all isosceles because they've all got two radii in. Now, we do, we do not know the size of the angles. So you can use algebra to identify them. And this triangle up here, I'm going to suggest that ha that has angles of size x. Okay? And using a different colour, I'm going to suggest that this has angles of size y. And that this triangle has angles of size z. Please can you identify those in your triangle? Step. The next step is to extend these radius lines out of the circle. The reason we're going to do that is it's going to help us identify some angles at the centre. So I am going to use my dotted line, this one. So I've come out here. Is that straight? Straight. And here. Okay. So. We are going to work out some of the angles here. It will be quite easy to do this. But I need you to follow this thinking. Okay? These angles are exterior angles for a triangle. Now you should have learned when you were in year 9 about the exterior angle of a triangle. So if you take any triangle and you add the three angles together, what do they make? 180. If you add two angles together and they make a straight line, what do they make? 180. Also 180. So you know this, that C plus A and B makes 180. So what must this angle be? 
A plus B. Well done. So that must be A plus B. So if you apply that thinking down here, and look carefully at this situation, this angle here is equal to X plus X. So that angle must be 2x. Now, if you're not sure about that, look at that red triangle related to that. Okay? Got it. So that's 2x. This one here, well, it's the exterior angle on this triangle. That must be 2z. Can you finish those other angles? So we are calculating the exterior angle. I've done the 2x and the 2z for you. Can you work out what those ones are? Diagram looking like this. And what I want you to notice is this. If you take the angle at the edge here, x plus y, so you've come across here, okay? The other two corners of the big triangle. If you go from those two corners of the big triangle to the centre, instead of making x plus y, they make sorry x plus z. They make two x plus two z. Both are So they're two times the same. So they're twice the angle. Okay. Watch what happens here. If I go from these two corners and let me call these corners. A, B, and C. If I go from A and C to the corner, it makes an angle of X plus Y. If I go from A and C to the centre of the circle, it makes an angle of 2X plus 2Y. It's twice. And here, it's called theorem 1. The angle at the centre is double the angle of the circumference. And you see that that's true. Okay? We have used algebra to prove it, so you know that it's always true. It does not depend on the figures that you used. Okay? So, you can now put a note to that effect. This number eight. eight. So if you go from A and B to C, you make an angle of Y plus Z. But, if you go to the centre, you make 2y plus 2z. You now need to construct a circle, and then draw a triangle containing the centre, and label that triangle A, B and C with the side lengths of A, B and C, but do this in your exercise book. It does not need to be a big diagram, but if you make it as large as your page, then it's much easier for you to read later. What was the title today?